Hello there! Do you want to be a 2D VTuber? Did you know that there is now a free and open source alternative to Life 2D? That's right! Buckle up, Buttercup, we cancel your Life 2D subscription because we will be going to the world of open source to create our very own VTuber model. I have an outline that we will be going through step by step. I will show you where to download legitimate versions of all the open source software because even though it's free, Scams can and do run rampant still. I'm not sponsored by any open source software. I just love these programs so much. The links to all the downloads are in the description below. Step 1. Download Enoch Creator. Enoch Creator can be downloaded in a couple of ways. One, you can download via itch, whether through the website or through the itch.io app. I recommend downloading through the app since updates to this method are as easy as updating through Steam. There's also the project's GitHub, which also has the nightly builds. We won't be using any nightly builds though, because of all the bugs and stuff. We will be using the itch.io app. Either way, be sure to document any bugs, glitches, or errors you find. Disclaimer. Please note that this is a tutorial of a suite of modeling and VTubing that is a work in progress. As such, while it's a perfectly acceptable tool for being a VTuber, there are many features and competitor software that are currently unavailable, and it is not suitable for game developers or animators yet. There will be more tutorials on new features and maybe even live rigging in the future, so please like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in that kind of content. Thank you! Step 2. Import PSD file. This one is more straightforward. In file, there is an import button and there is an option for PSD file. Find it, press import, bada bing, bada boom, kablamo! If Enoch2D doesn't see a PSD file that's corrupt, check my previous tutorial for a good way to draw models. It should all be good. Save as an INX file. If you need to make changes to the PSD file, which I had to do for hair, once you're done fixing anything that went wrong in the process, there is a merge button. And once you link to change layers, you can get right back to rigging. Step 3. Group pizzas. Depending on how the model is drawn, this step could take multiple hours. If you right-click the main node, there are a couple of other nodes. Add nodes for the head and body, including but not limited to hair, mouth, each eye, outfit, limbs, and any accessories. If there are multiple outfits, add composites to the body and put the outfits in there. That way you can add parameters going back and forth between outfits. If it ever looks like you messed up with layers being in front of the wrong layers, you can edit each layer's Z sorting. The lower the number, the more layers will be behind the layer you're editing. The higher the number, the more it will fall back. IMPORTANT After grouping pieces, you'll need to mask some of the pieces of the eyes. The layers you want to mask are parts of the iris, with the masking layer being the sclera. Go to the piece, scroll down until you see masking layer, drag the correct piece, and now the piece turns invisible beyond the masking layer. Step 4. Remake meshes. A mesh is assigned to each drawing layer, but not every mesh needs to be remade unless you want to deform every single layer. If you do, get yourself some water, because this step is even longer than the last. There is an edit mesh button. Each mesh starts with four vertices that make two triangles. If you hold down the control button, you can make more vertices or remove vertices you no longer need. You can drag them if you need to by letting go of the control button. When you're satisfied, you can press the triangle button to triangulate vertices. There are new yellow triangles now, and you can edit the vertices how you wish. When you're done, press apply while the triangles are still yellow, or press bake then apply. Rinse and repeat for every single mesh you want to deform. Step 5. Make parameters. <laughs> so this is where the fun begins. We finally get to move the parts we have grouped and remeshed however we see fit. We can put as many pieces and notes into whatever parameters you need. Tracking in its current state only involves the head, but I still recommend making body parameters separate from the head in case you want to set each piece differently from mine. So to make a parameter, Open up the panel and press the plus button. There are a couple of options here, like 1D and 2D parameters, with different minimums as well as a mouth parameter. I recommend 2D parameters for head, XY, eye movement, and mouth. The rest which are the tilts, the blinks, the back and forth, the outfit changes. 
are 1D parameters. If a 1D parameter can be divided into true and false, the minimum is zero. And all the other parameters, both 1D and 2D, are set from negative one to positive one. There's also particularly a mouth parameter, but if it looks too complex, feel free to make your mouth parameter a normal 2D. That's what I did. After making the parameter, you can add axis points and change the name to make things easier. The circle under the settings can help you arm each axis in the parameter. You can then choose which axis to start. It is not recommended to deform all, but to instead use X, Y, scaling, and rotations to your meshes. But when you do deform, path deform is your best friend. Use this tool for head turning, mouth parameters, and eye blinking as much as you can. And make sure the original line goes beyond the mesh so that all the vertices can properly deform. Now, I was looking at live 2D tutorials, and it seemed that each mesh needed to have its own keyforms and the parameters they are involved in. All I could say is that is more complicated than it's worth, to be honest. Just pressing the arm parameter and moving any vertex will add the deformation to the piece to the list of things that change in that specific parameter. It's really that easy. I want to go over the mouth in particular as the rest of the parameters should be relatively straightforward as deforming and changing X and Y and any tilting should get the job done. If you seem stuck, there are a couple models you could study. The mouth has its own parameter option that you can absolutely use. However, <clears throat> you could always use a normal negative 1 to positive 1 2D parameter and add more access points if you want to get more specific. Live 2D tutorials have plenty of charts for the mouth, but I use a simple 3x3 three three method for the mouth. The access points at the bottom are for when the mouth is closed. The points at the top are when it's fully open. The points go from all to ah, sad to happy, U to e to e. It might take some time to get the mouth just right, so be patient with yourself. Physics can be tricky, but it's simpler than what I've heard with Life 2D. Rotating the hair and deforming everything else worked for me. But the physics parameters need to connect to a physics node in the node tree. Scroll down to the parameter section. Drag the parameter to the spot that says unassigned, and it should automatically use physics. This requires plenty of trial and error like the mouth, so take your time with this one. Step 7. Save as INX, export as INP. This is honestly more straightforward, so I'll just talk about the differences here. INX files are used in Inochi Creator to make the rig and animations of the model, while INP files are used for VTubing in eventually game creation and animation. You can't do a whole lot with IMP files in Creator, so only export when you're done rigging, and use INX to keep on rigging and backing up when there are new features in the software. Yay! You got a model and save money if you did to take your time. <coughs> 42 day free trial for pro. <coughs> There's one more thing you need to do, and that is parameter tracking. This used to be a thing in Creator, but one, it didn't save to INX or INP. Two, it was only used for testing and not hours long as since there is no green screen. Instead, you need a different software to track your model for DTubing. Enoji Session. Here's how to use it. Step one, download Enoji Session. Just like before, the link to download session is in the description. Just like Creator Session is also available on itch.io's desktop app, as well as its own GitHub page. Step 2. Download Tracking Method. VTube Studio is best. There are two working methods, but one of them works better than the other right now. However, it requires your phone, and if you're going to stream for long sessions like uncapped subathons, it's not the best due to your phone's battery if it's anything like mine. Using webcam is possible, but it's not so great right now. To use a webcam, download OpenSea Face. To use a smartphone, download VTube Studio. You don't even need the paid version. Get the free one and you'll be fine. 
step three. Drag IMP file to open session. Currently, this is the only way to open an IMP file in session. Windows has been in its current state as of January 2023. It didn't have any importing or opening available. Step four, set up IP addresses. This depends on how you want to track, but they start with creating a virtual space, which is under the view dropdown. One is more straightforward, the other requires more personalized work. We'll start with VTube Studio. Go to settings in VTube Studio, scroll all the way to the bottom, and turn on third-party software. There is a button to find your phone's local IP address. When you go to session, enter that address in and save. Open face is super simple. These are the defaults for IP import. Choose OSF from the drop-down, put the numbers in, save changes, open face tracker.exe, done. Step 5. Determine tracking. Steps 5 and 6, in my opinion, should be done by whoever is rigging the file. That way the end user of the model doesn't have to get a headache. But say you are your own rigger. That's fine. Here's what I personally found to be helpful. Tracking should be negative 30 to positive 30 for the head. Yaw, pitch, and roll. These are the actual terms. Yaw is left to right head turn. Pitch is up and down head turn. Rolling is tilting. Experiment with mouth in motion and mouth open and close, as that depends on how expressive your mouth gets while you're doing whatever VTuber activities you plan on doing. IX and IY tracking should be negative one to positive one. Breathing is different. It requires an expression, not a ratio. In the wiki for session, it has a good starting point for breathing, which uses this expression. But inside the sign, multiply it by 1.5 like this to make the breathing a little faster. Toggling is similar to breathing as it requires an expression, not a ratio. It can be zero or one, and if you want smoothness of toggling outfits, hand poses, or anything else you can think of, max out dampening. Step six, save to file. It's at the top next to refresh. That refresh button is for session to scope out the IP addresses I mentioned earlier. If you had a hard time doing step five because step face tracking options aren't appearing in the drop down of your parameters, press refresh and try again. Step 7. Download and install OBS and Spout 2. I'm pretty sure everyone knows OBS at this point as it is the most well-known open source software for YouTubers and Twitch streamers. However, in order to make the software work the easiest with Energy Session, download Spout 2 as well. It's a plugin. If you use OBS Studio out of the box, you have to do a lot of crapping and set it to game capture so you and your audience won't see the options you're using. With Spout, that is not a thing. Step 8. Add session to a scene as a Spout capture. When you make your first scene, there aren't any captures in the scene. Press the plus button to add a capture, in this case a Spout 2 capture. Name it and tell it which window is your Spout 2 capture. Step 9. Green screen or blue screen, or magenta screen. This requires a chroma key. Chroma key is a filter in window, game, and Spout 2 captures. To find it, right click on the Spout 2 capture and click on filters. Add a filter, in this case chroma key, choose the background color, and play around with how much green, or blue, or magenta you want to get rid of. And would you look at that! You're a VTuber now! Become a VTuber! Become a VStreamer! Use it as a webcam for your Discord call! The possibilities are endless! I hope that you enjoyed watching the tutorials. Stay safe and I wish you well on your VTubing journey! Bye!